Another thing that I've already influenced and that I want to propose to C++ itself, and we're going to start having this conversation next week in Poland, is say that at the call site, every subscript operation of the form A sub B is bounds checked automatically at the call site if you can say stood size of A and B is an integral type. So this works for contiguous ranges, it works for views, it works for stood spans, stood vector, it also works for cute containers that are contiguous and that provide stood span. So without, one of the nice things that I really enjoy about this is that my results so far, because I implemented it at the call site, when I write CPP2 code by default, I get full bounds checking for every STL container, including the non-standard STL container, STL compatible containers like Qt's, for every array, for all the ranges and views, the support size, and I didn't have to upgrade my standard library. This works with GCC standard library, with Clangs, with Microsofts. It works with non-standard libraries like Qt's, and it works for C arrays. I, I'm loving it so far, and I intend to to propose that as something that is either on by default always, or at least is on by default in a bound safety profile. So that in the future, and say maybe in C++29, this is something that will be easy to adopt in large parts of code. And one thing I really like about this proposal, and about this approach, is if I do the bounds checking inside each subscript operator, A, that's more work. I gotta, and B, I gotta go convince every library writer to go upgrade every type subscript. So like if they add a precondition, I have to make them go do that. I have to then get the new library, wait till I get a new library from each person. With this approach instead, I can take all of the existing code, just recompile it with that feature enabled, with bounce, call site uh, bounce checks enabled, and it just works with all that existing code. And that again is that holy grail of adoptability that I really hope that we can pursue.